Hi, um, for the U11 GCSE art mock exam, I just wanted to be very, very clear or try to be very, very clear um, about the expectations um, in terms of what they were doing, because there are there is a little bit of confusion being a practical exam uh, compared to others. So uh, the piece of work that you will start in the mock exam must be based on your sketchbook work. It must be related to the journey explored so far and based on the theme that you've explored um, I often get asked questions, can I do this and can I do that and, and can I just get one off the internet? Well, no, that's not what it's about. The exam um, is to see and to test and to assess your ability to work on a theme and a journey. Um, and it must come from that, that theme, that journey. OK, it mustn't be a direct copy of a piece of work from an artist. That part of the project has already gone. So we're at that stage now where we, we're developing creative responses personal creative responses to the journey and the exploration that you've been taking part in since we started the uh, the project work. Okay, so you'll have had time in class by now to explore, practice and develop ideas for this mock exam. You'll have had time to discuss the ideas with your teacher as well. Now, in terms of being prepared for the exam, you've got to, you absolutely have to, must have your sketchbook and any other preparation materials such as photos, sketches, and any loose pieces of, of work that you might have um, in your folder or in your sketchbook that you're going to need to work from your mock exam for your mock exam sorry you can't just pluck a new piece of work out of thin air or just a piece of you know an image off the internet and print it off and say that's what i'm going to do for my mock exam if it's not linked to your journey if it's not linked to the process you're not going to really get any marks for that to be honest it has to be linked Okay, you also must know what equipment and materials you're going to need uh, and make sure that you tell your teacher in advance. Uh, you must have also trialed and at least sketched loosely the idea that you intend to start in the mock exam. The more you will have practiced what you want to start, the better outcome is going to be. Rather than gambling with what you're going to do in the mock exam, you really need to be prepared for it and, and, and you have the opportunity and time to do that and to practice and know what you're going to do. If there's any photographs that you need to work from, uh, make sure they are printed. You won't be able to use your phones to, to search up pictures. Uh, you won't be able to go on a computer to, to download and print off any pictures. You will be entirely solely based at a table, working on an idea that you've already thought about, prepared for, planned for, and to some extent practiced. So you're not gambling. It's not something completely new. It's nothing you know, out of the blue. Um, it's actually starting and executing something that you've already thought about and practiced. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you're still not sure, come and see us before next week uh, and we'll try and clarify it for you. Thank you.